Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. So today we will be making soji mojito cocktail. So if you've never heard of soju before, it is a distilled spirit that is super, super popular in Korea. So I would say it's equivalent to what vodka is to Russia and soju is the national spirit for Korea. And it is far less in alcohol, usually vodka and other spirits are about 80% proof. Soju tends to be anywhere between like 15 to 18% proof. So it's less in alcohol, but it has a really, really superior clean taste and a smooth finish. My preference is chamiso fresh. It just has a very clean, refreshing aftertaste. But certainly there's other soju bottles that you can buy. Some of them come flavored. My preference is to never buy flavored anything. You should just add your own flavors and fresh juices and such when you bring it home. So chamiso fresh is my soju to go to that is nice, smooth, and clean aftertaste. To make our soju mojito, you need to get some simple syrup. The sweetness of mojito is really up to you and your preference. I tend to like my cocktails a little bit on the less sweeter side. So again, you know, you could make it as sweet as you want or as little sweet as you prefer. So let's get started. So we're gonna take three shots and each shot is about an ounce and a half. And you know, if you wanna make it less strong, by all means put less, but I like to put three shots for a pint-sized glass like this. That's three. And then you definitely need some really fresh mint. So just take about 10 to 12 leaves of mint and just drop it in here. And I will be using lots of bar gadgets and you could purchase them at your local bar supply store or I will have links for you to purchase the bar gadgets on my description box below, or you could also visit my blog at modernpepper.com where I will have links to all the bar gadgets that I'm using, including the simple syrup that you could conveniently order and have it delivered to your house. So there's about 10 to 12 fresh mint leaves, and you definitely need a muddler. So this is one of the gadgets that you definitely need. And just put your hand over it, and I just want you to bruise it. Oh, and I could smell Oh, the fragrance of the fresh mint smells incredible. It's kind of like, it kind of wakes you up. It smells wonderful. So just bruise it for about, you know, a good 10 to 15 seconds. That's about good. And then we're gonna add some simple syrup. Now, you could add more if you like. I'm gonna just add about three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup and put it in here. I have about half an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice and I'm just gonna pour it in here. And I'm using a strainer because I don't really want any pulp. So when I go to take sips of my cocktail, I don't wanna be like surprised with like this burst of lemon pulp and I'm just like, oh my God, I didn't really need that jolt. So that's why I'm using this cocktail strainer. And then we're gonna take our cocktail mixer here, add a few ice cubes just about three to four ice cubes. And then we're gonna pour our ingredient in here. Make sure you tap it so it has a nice seal. Hold it with two hands and shake it for about good 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're gonna take our glass and drop a big cube of ice. If you don't have these big cube of ice, just drop a few cubes of your regular ice cube. So we're gonna use our strainer, place it here, and then because of the ice and the temperature in here, it kind of gets really stiff to open this. So what I like to do is tap it and then it just comes open like that, okay? We're gonna put this aside and then we're gonna taste it, okay? So take your straw and just take a little bit and see if it's sweet enough for you, okay? Mm, for me, that's like the perfect amount of sweetness. It's just slightly sweet and then Put our strainer here, and then we're gonna just pour it into our serving glass. Do you see the color? It's so pretty. Just shake it, make sure we don't leave any drops of soju left in here, because that would just be shameful, shameful. Shake it all out, put that to the side. And I just wanna show you the color. Look, it has this like light uh, yellow and a little bit of that green color. So we're gonna decorate Take a few big leaves of your mint leaves. I have three mint leaves. 
And then I'm going to use a cocktail spoon to just push it down to the side just to make it pretty. Look how refreshing and summery this cocktail looks. And then the last thing to add is some club soda. Now, if you want to make it sweeter, you could add tonic water, but I tend to like my cocktails to be more on the refreshing, clean, and slightly sweet side. But again, add more simple syrup if you want it sweeter. Look at that. This looks already so refreshing. So before we consume, I just want to mix the soda with the rest of ooh, with the rest of our cocktail. Okay, and this is almost all ready. Now, oh, this smells so good. I wish you could smell this. It's just, it just smells like summer. It smells like a, a cocktail that you could just sip sitting out on your deck with your family and friends in the sun and just have a lazy afternoon with your friends and family. I'm gonna have a taste because, oh, this smells so good. The fresh mint leaves, and then you can smell a little bit of that lemon juice that we added earlier. I'm gonna have a sip. Mm, it's so refreshing. You almost cannot taste the alcohol. It's so subtle, it, so you have to be careful because you're gonna wind up chugging this because you can't really taste the alcohol because we added our club soda, we added just a little bit of the simple syrups. It has that sweetness that kind of masks the taste of the soju alcohol content. And soju to begin with is a very smooth, clean finish aftertaste. So I hope you try this at home because this will be a hit with your family and friends and make sure to label that it is alcohol cocktail or else the kids might drink it because it really, it tastes so refreshing and light that you cannot taste the alcohol. At least for me, I can't taste it. So cheers. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you try this recipe at home. And certainly you can make this into a pitcher size and just leave it out for everyone to self-serve. And if you enjoyed watching this video, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up. So click on that thumbs up icon below. And I would also appreciate it if you would share this video with anyone who's interested in making soju cocktails. And again, my cocktails tend to be very simple. I am not a mixologist. Uh, because I'm a mom of three, I like to make my cocktails quickly with minimal fuss or no fuss whatsoever. Because when you drink it, you will feel better. When you when drink, you drink it, it, you will, you feel, will better. feel better. Now, let's be clear. In the States, you have to be 21 and older to consume and to purchase alcohol. So for those of you that are of legal drinking age, including myself, yes, I am 21 and older, let's definitely make sure to drink responsibly and um, have a good time with family and friends. And lastly, I would love to connect with you again. And I upload new videos every Thursday. And I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. So please do click on that subscribe button that's below this video box so we could connect again and we could make some Korean meals together that are super easy to follow with clear instructions and detailed list of all the ingredients. And in addition to making Korean foods, I also love to make all kinds of yummy foods while incorporating one or a few Korean ingredients. So until next time, happy Soju Mojito time. Enjoy your summer, and I hope you have many, many fun summer cocktail time with your family friends. Until next time, happy Soju Mojito time. Bye now.